Hey everyone, I'm Megan and today we are going apartment hunting. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you most of the apartments that I saw. I saw a lot of apartments and if I showed them all to you, this video would be so long. I'm gonna show you the top places that I looked at how much they cost, what the building names are, the amenities, the whole shebang. I am only considering places in New Jersey. I'm not looking at Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, Staten Island, no, none of that. All the places that I'm looking at in Jersey are only about 10 to maybe 20 minutes outside of Manhattan. So I think it's kind of like the best kept secret for those of you that maybe still want a close proximity to the city, but don't actually want to live in the city. You could actually save a substantial amount of money. I currently live in Midtown Manhattan in a very, very vibrant part of the city. As much as I love living here, Manhattan and just the city in general has gotten a little wild. I mean, crime is out of control. It's just a lot. It's time to move up and move out. I'm currently paying about $3,000 for my studio apartment, so if I could pay less, that would be fantastic, but we'll see. I'm also gonna be revealing the place that I chose, which is gonna be my new home that I'll be moving into. I'd love to hear what you guys think. I mean, I already signed the lease, so if you guys don't like it, it's already happening, but I'd love to hear your opinions. If this sounds good to you, keep watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to like the video. If you wanna see more of me, I'd love it if you clicked subscribe. Okay, let's get into it. The first apartment that I looked at is called The Modern and it's located in Fort Lee, New Jersey. Fort Lee is directly over the bridge from Manhattan. It's connected to Washington Heights, which is like the top of Manhattan. So you just cross the bridge and you are in Fort Lee. The Modern is two towers that are nearly identical to each other. And just like their namesake, they are ultra modern, ultra sleek. The moment I walked in, I felt like I was in a fancy hotel somewhere. This lobby is just so sleek. I mean, they clearly really took their time with it. The seating is gorgeous. There's a pond. Like I was super, super, super impressed. The Modern is top notch. I mean, they have floor to ceiling windows, which I love. The living room is so spacious. The bedrooms, oh my gosh, I could just picture myself waking up there every day. It was big, bright, open. There is a view of the George Washington Bridge from both the living rooms and the bedrooms, which I think was nice. The bathroom, really clean and sleek. My favorite part, even though you guys know I don't really cook, the kitchen was so beautiful. There is a in-unit washer and dryer, which was really exciting. The next unit that I saw is also at the Modern, but this is a studio. I was actually disappointed of how small it was. It was only 435 square feet. The kitchen is actually combined with the living space, which I didn't really care for that much. It does have the floor to ceiling windows, the actual space where you can put like your couch and your bed. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's really, really small. It's over 100 square feet smaller than what I have now and I just, I couldn't do it. The Modern is gorgeous, it smells good, the lobby is great. The amenities are off the chart. I think the Modern is a very solid option to consider. Moving right along, the next building is called Hudson Lights. It's actually directly behind or in front, I guess, depending where you're standing, of the Modern, and it is another beautiful building. I thought the lobby was really cute. There is a 24-7 doorman and concierge, which is very, very important to me. It's got your floor to ceiling windows.
This apartment I thought was really beautiful. The kitchen, super modern. I was also shown another unit at Hudson Lights. What was cool about this place is that it has its own outdoor space, which I thought was really cool. I felt like some of the finishes weren't really high quality. I think they were a little cheap. The doors seemed a little flimsy. The flooring, I felt like it was already starting to buckle. Was it a deal breaker? No, but it was definitely something that I didn't think was cute and I didn't like too much. It was just not 100% on it. The next place that I looked at was also in Fort Lee and it is called The Pinnacle. It is up on the Palisades. This place is absolutely gorgeous. There is a balcony overlooking the Hudson River and uptown Manhattan. So you can see Harlem, you can see Washington Heights, as well as a panoramic view of the George Washington Bridge, which looks really cool at night when it's lit up. I was almost ready to sign right then and there. I was like, oh my God, like this balcony is so gorgeous. The bedroom was a really good size. It has the floor to ceiling windows, just how I like. The Pinnacle actually had multiple listings. What was really intriguing about this place was it gave me by far the most space. This had a huge living room. As well as a large bedroom and, and a den slash office. As far as amenities are concerned, there is a fitness room and there's also a sauna. There is no pool, no outdoor space, no rooftop. And I don't know guys, I kind of was a little upset by that. Also, and this is kind of a big deal, they just changed management. They are going through some staff changes. They currently do not have anyone working the front desk. And just being a woman, it's really, really important for me to live in a doorman building. And the fact that they currently don't have a doorman and they haven't for quite some time, I'm just not sure if it's the chance that I want to take. So that's kind of a, a red flag a little bit. Back in Jersey. Today I'm in like the Weehawken, West New York area. All the buildings here look pretty new. The view is gorgeous. I'll try to get you guys a good shot, but it's like literally right across the Hudson. So you can see the whole skyline. It's really beautiful and peaceful. I have an appointment at 10 o'clock. It's 9.58. So let's see. I'll keep you guys posted. The one bedroom that they have available, someone's occupying it, so they couldn't show it to me. So they showed me their model two bedroom, which was awesome. I liked it a lot, but 
I need to see the unit that I'm gonna move into. So I feel like I would have to, look at this view, it's everything. I feel like I would have to basically like take a gamble on this place and move in without seeing it first. I just don't know how I feel about that. The next place is called The Duchess. and it is in North Bergen, New Jersey. I saw an alcove studio. The studio itself was very nice. There's a separate space for your bed, which was really amazing. The appliances, top notch. The bathroom, oh my God, this bathroom was stunning. Stunning, like I could live just in the bathroom. That bathroom was absolutely gorgeous. Really good amount of living space. All of your furniture would fit. This is a really, really beautiful building. The thing that I didn't like, well, actually there's two things I didn't like. One, I didn't care for these small windows. I like big, bright, bold windows, and these were just teeny tiny. I don't know, I just, I didn't really care for it. Also, the unit is in the back of the building, so it's facing the cliff. And I just don't know if I want to look at a cliff all day. Okay, now we are off to Half Moon Harbor Luxury Apartments. It's right across the street from the Duchess. So I figured, let's give it a shot. When I walked in, the first thing I thought was, it's a little dated. It's a little old school, but very nice, very well maintained. What I really liked about this place was these units are massive. The only thing that was a little off-putting was that there is carpet in the bedroom. Guys, can we have a discussion about this? I'm super against carpet in a rental. If this were a townhome or a house that I am purchasing, I think it's okay. But as a rental, once I saw that carpet, I immediately knew that I wasn't going to move forward. But Honestly, these places are so big. The kitchens are pretty modernized. The outdoor space is absolutely stunning. There's a pool. It wasn't for me, it was a little dated. It wasn't as sexy as I wanted it to be. But if you guys are interested in the building, I think you should definitely check it out. This next apartment that I looked at was in Jersey City. This is the only place that I looked at in Jersey City. What Jersey City has on the rest of the neighborhoods is that it's connected by the PATH train, which is super convenient. I looked at one of the towers in Journal Squared. This is like a massive tower. I wanna say it's like 50 something stories high. I guess just being such a massive building, it just felt really, really crowded. Also, the neighborhood, Journal Square, is just not really for me. I really like to go on walks, and I just don't really see myself walking around the Journal Square neighborhood, so that's a flat out no for me. So I feel like with the other units that I've looked at, I just don't really feel like there's a competition here. Moving right along. The next place that I looked at is 55 Riverwalk, which is in the Port Imperial neighborhood of West New York, New Jersey. It is right by the ferry. It's actually connected to a Starbucks and it is on top of a grocery store. There's also this incredible walking path. It gives you panoramic views of the city. When I pulled up, I was a little bit like, ugh. 
wasn't giving me modern sophistication, but it was okay. As you can see, here's the unit. I like the size of it. I think it's really big, really spacious. I think the kitchen was a little outdated. I did not like the cabinets at all. It just wasn't giving me this era. It was giving me 80s, 90s a little bit. The bedroom was beautiful. Again, there are these windows, a little small. It was pretty bright, but something about that view, I mean, just looking out directly into someone else's unit, was a big fat no. Just the material of the building and the color kind of made me feel like I was in prison. The saving grace of the view was that you did get a little peak of Manhattan, so that was nice, but it definitely wasn't my favorite of the bunch. It's not a bad option. Location cannot be beat. I don't know guys, I think it's a no. I was really fortunate to see a lot of new construction properties or properties that have maybe been out for like a decade or less. There's also a lot of older ones and I quickly realized that I just did not want to be in an older building. For example, there's River Bend at Port Imperial, which is in West New York. Location is A+. The building is nice, but because it was one of the Actually, it may have been the first building in the area. A little bit of cosmetic issues. The property has run really, really well, so that was a plus. And the leasing agent, Jason, was phenomenal. Amenities were good. There is a clubhouse. But again, it's the carpet in the bedroom, the little AC unit in the window, the smaller windows. I just, ugh, I don't know guys. It just really wasn't for me. There were some decent views, but once you live in a modern building and once you start looking at other modern buildings, it becomes really hard to get something older. Didn't really work out for me, but I would absolutely Put it on your list of buildings so this next building is in edgewater new jersey it is right on the water i mean like no 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 like it's right there on the water as soon as i pulled up and i saw that it was glass it was modern it was up to date it was like okay this has potential. The lobby was really cute. There is a small gym. There's also an outdoor pool. So you know I was excited. The roof deck is amazing. But what's most important is the unit. When I saw this unit, I was like, oh my God. It has a keyless entry, which I thought was a nice touch. There's a nest as well. But look at this bathroom. This bathroom is like a luxury hotel bathroom. It is so nice, but it has really high-end finishes. The floors are finally some real wood floors. This kitchen, oh my gosh. Let's get into the real reason why I am obsessed with this place. It is this view. Look at this view. You can see the whole skyline. You're all the way at the edge of the water. It's almost like you're living in a boat. There's also a walking path along the river. And, and this is something that I was like, wait, what? There's a private pier just for the residents. And I was like, you know what? This place is not playing games. It is about $600 a month less than what I'm currently paying. I was like, you know what? I gotta get this apartment. I mean, I feel like to have everything, plus it's less than I'm paying now, 
feel like I'd be a fool to pass it up. So I'm not, I'm going for it. So I am so happy to announce that this is the apartment that I'm gonna be moving into. I feel really, really good about it. I'm really ready for this next chapter. I'm ready for the Jersey move and I think it's gonna be amazing. I'm wishing you all the absolute very best on your apartment journeys. See you later, bye.